Hello guys, welcome back to the channel and in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can actually install the Confluence for the data center on your Mac OS operating system. Now the very first thing that you actually need to know is that the Confluence is using a different default port. Instead of using the port 8080 just like the Jira is, the Confluence is using the port 8090. So that is going to be a slight change in um, in running your Confluence. The another thing that you actually need to uh, have in here is to define the Confluence home. Just like you had your Jira home, it's going to ask you for your Confluence home. So where you want to head is the, um, the folder of your Atlassian Confluence that you have downloaded from the Atlassian's website. And you want to go for the a Confluence in here. So you go for CD, you go for LS, you go for CD web dash inf. In here, you're going to have the LS as well. You're going to go for the classes, just like for the Jira. And in, in here, you're going to be looking for this specific file where it says Confluence in its properties. So I'm going to put this in nano. I'm going to read this out. And now it's uh, giving the examples of how you can actually, well, specify your, your home. What you actually want to do is in here, you're going to have this uh, hashtag added to this Confluence home. So first you want to reach this part right here that says configuration directory. And within the configuration directory, you're going to be having something like hashtag confluence.home and then it's going to specify everything else. So I just removed, uh, removed this hashtag I went uh, to save it and basically that was it I already did this so it, when it when you actually do the changes when you hit the uh, control X it's gonna ask you are you sure you want to actually do that you just hit Y and basically that's it right so now we're gonna go back to our bin folder and in bin, you want to start confluence.sh. And it's going to take some time for it to load and to actually run it. So we are looking for localhost and it's going to be 8090. And as you can see, it has um, it has, uh, it has the wheel spinning, and this is what you actually get. All right, so you'll need an external database, and in here also you're going to need the external database, so you're going to go for the next. Uh, you can get the evaluation license as well, so that is going to be like a generating of a tri trial license. It's going to take you there. You're just going to say, yeah, generate the license for me. Uh, this is for the local host. Yes. And we're going to move on. Choose how you want to deploy Confluence. You can start as unknown clustered installation and set up the clustering later if required. So I'm going to go with the next. And basically, this is what you have. Okay. So then you move on with the Postgre installation. You, then you go with the MySQL installation and everything else. So this is going to your this is going to be your database installation, and this is going to be the setup. Oh, this is for the SQL Server. So you have the post for the Postgre. You have basically everything. Uh, where you can define Confluence user. Your new user must be able to create database projects. Uh, objects must be able to have a login permission. 
uh, owner who that is going to be encoding what type of encoding this is going to be so you can use pg admin as an alternative command to complete this step all right and everything else in here you have that is defined that you actually need how how you can actually well install this and you have like collation what it needs to be set to such as see or known cause the issues with the confluence for example so now you have in Linux systems if uh, the locale is not UTF-8 you include the LC type so I'm gonna be leaving some of the guides in here I just wanted to show you how you can actually start this uh, connecting with a database that is um, that is not another part of the video it's not meant to be included for this video but this was it for today's video don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel see you guys bye bye